Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be discussing about some of the previous equations of Axinger so that it will be used for total physics batch students, both on campus and also off campus. Recently, Axinger has started this hiring for 2026 batch on campus. So, students, try to practice yourself, take regular mock test and interviews from now onwards so that you can crack the Axinger exam easily. And uh, Axinger has also changed its pattern for 2026 batch students the current year. So, students uh, practice based on the new pattern of Oxenger and also currently the job market is in an increasing demand. So, you need to practice regularly to place in any of the service based companies on placements. So, practice yourself. So, let's start the video. Hey, you ready for the future tech? No UF is here with premium prep materials. No need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. This is the first machine. Uh, they are asking. Chip protocol is commonly used in web browsing to secure data transmission by encrypting the connection between a web server and a client. They are asking which protocol for which we can browse securely on internet and we can encrypt the connection between the web server and the client. The client here is a browser. So the protocol that is been given by them is FTP, HTTPS, SMTP and HTTP. We need to pick the correct protocol. Here, in secure browsing, uh, many of them are knowing like HTTPS is a correct option. So HTTPS is the correct option. Option B, you can see the explanation. HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. It's a protocol commonly used in web browsing to secure data transmission by encrypting the connection. It will be encrypting the connection. Uh, if we are using HTTP only, it will be not encrypting the connection. If we are using HTTPS secure, uh, the data trans transmission are securely encrypted between a web server and a client. Encryption protects sensitive data from being intercepted or tampered with during transmission, ensuring privacy and integrity also. Other options will be stands for FTP is used for file transfers only. It will be not dealing with the uh, web browser all. SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. They will be used by the client for sending email messages only. It, it is also not uh, dealing with any of the web browsing. HTTP, like similar to HTTP, HTTPS will also be used because uh, HTTPS provides a uh, encrypted security. But if you are using HTTP, it is not providing encryption unlike HTTPS. Therefore, for secure browsing, we need to use HTTPS as a standard protocol. Uh, this is the second and third question. They are asking, cloud computing allows organizations to access on-demand cloud-based computing solutions according to the change of business needs. Like, for example, I am saying, if you are running a business, uh, 100 GB of cloud is in your uh, business need. In the future, if you are needing uh, 150 GB of cloud, it is called as a business need requirement. You need to claim this uh, to the cloud provider. Based on the business need, the utility of you will be changing. So, based on which term it is called as service oriented architecture, grid computing, utility computing, and virtualization. Utility computing. Based on your utility only, you are demanding from the cloud provider or a cloud vendor. So, so utility computing is a correct option. Utility computing is a correct option. This is the explanation. The statement, cloud computing allows organizations to access on-demand cloud-based computing solutions according to the change of business needs. According to the change of business needs, you can ask uh, any number of storage from the cloud vendor. This is a utility computing. Utility computing means resources like uh, computer power or storage are provided on-demand. It will be provided on-demand by you only. Uh, the cloud vendor will be providing on-demand, much like a utility electricity or water if we are using more number of electricity we need to pay more bill like this only if we are using more number of cloud storage we need to pay according to the usage of us and organizations pay only for what they use 
this is a core characteristics of cloud services organizations pay only for what they use it will also called as pay as you go model like it is a model for cloud computing uh, other options like uh, service oriented architecture is a software design principle this is not specifically to cloud characteristics grid computing refers to distributed computing like uh, not necessarily on demand cloud services so it is also not applicable for this question and virtualization is a technology behind cloud but not the business characteristic described so the correct option for this question is utility computing so this is the third question the network id in class c ip address they are uh, asking for class c uh, how much network id will be there there are net id and host id uh network id and host id for every classes like class a class b class c class d they are asking for class c how much network id like net id will be there we need to calculate 16 or 32 or 8 or 24 uh in class c ip address the network id is comprised for the three octets like uh, in a class a there are one octet only of network id and three octets of host id in class b we are having uh, two octets of net id and two octets of host id if we are having class c the net id will be comprised of three octets and one octet of host id so it will be having length of 8 into 3 3 is a number of network id octets and it is uh, one 1 byte equal to 8 bits so 8 into 3 it will be 24 bits so like i have already mentioned 8 is for class A, 16 is for class B. These are all the net ID storage. 32 represents the whole IP, not just in network ID. So for this answer, uh, class C, the net network part is 24 bits long. If they are asking for host part for class C, we can mark it as 8 bits. So clear, we can go to fourth and fifth question. uh this is the one uh since this uh, whole question is not visible i have extracted the question for your better understanding so the following email protocol allows you to access your email wherever you are like the options they are given imap ftp smtp pop these are all the email protocols only we need to pick the correct protocol based on the need that is been given in the question so the correct option is imap like imap keeps your email stored on the mail server and synchronizes messages across all devices uh if you are opening uh the email in a laptop in a different country uh in other country also you will be opened in a different device like uh, your sibling or any other person with your password uh they can also open the message like all devices it will be synchronized at the same time enabling you to access your e inbox from any location with an internet connection any changes such as reading or deleting messages are updated instantly like it will be updated instantly on all devices like if you are signed up in a laptop tablet mobile or any other devices it will be updated instantly on all the devices this is ideal for users who need flexibility and access on multiple devices uh these are all the things uh imap will be used for so imap is a correct option other options like ftp smtp pop will be used for pop post office protocol uh is designed for uh pop 3 3 is a version of this protocol post office protocol version 3 is designed for uh download emails to a single device and usually deletes them from a server limiting remote access it will be limiting the remote access but in the question they are asking for the remote access wherever you are it will be denoting us across remote location we will be accessing the email across all the devices smtp like i have already mentioned a simple mail transfer protocol it will be used for sending emails only and does not provide any inbox access across uh, remote location so imap is a correct option uh this is the fifth question i have extracted the full question which of the following protocol is used to send an email from client to a mail server uh in a previous question i have mentioned smtp simple mail transfer protocol it will be used for sending emails from a client to other client 
we can send a message to any other clients using this protocol only so smtp is a correct option based on these four options so smtp simple mail transfer protocol like i have already said handle sending emails from client to server or server to server when you click send in gmail or outlook uh, the smtp protocol only triggers the delivery other options like uh, http is a browsing protocol popi map will be used for reading or receiving emails ftp will be dealing with file transfers so it is called as a file transfer protocol so the correct answer for this question is smtp like uh, send an email from a client to a mail server so this is a fast final question of this session uh, which of the following layer of the osi model organizes bits into frames they are asking and they have also given the osi model physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and also application layer. It's called some layers of OSI model that is given by them. They are asking which layer is responsible for organizing bits into frames. They are asking. In a physical layer, uh, there exist a bits. In a data link layer, uh, bits are converted into frames. So data link layer is a correct option, layer 2. From uh, bottom to top, it will be numbered from 1, 2, 3, up to 7. There are 7 layers in OSI model. Here, uh, layer 2 is the correct option. Data link layer. This is a layer 2 of the OSI model is responsible for organizing raw bits from the physical layer into frames. It provides framing, addressing and also error detection to ensure reliable data transfer between adjacent network nodes. Uh, the first layer, physical layer, deals with transmitting raw bits only. Data link layer will be converting bits into frames. Uh, the topmost layers like a network layer, transport layer, up to application layer be dealing with more uh, complex data organization and also transmission so for this question uh, data link layer which is a layer 2 is a correct option please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends